Alors bonjour. Good morning. I'd like to thank the organizers of the summit for having thought of planning this day of reflection and having invited me. Now, I thought about uh, this concept, uh, agent provocateur. Uh, yes, why not? So, as I have very little time, I decided to use a technique uh, of picking out letters and to define using the word archives what in fact we're talking about. So I've picked out a number of words and I would like uh, to uh, in fact uh, flesh these words out. First of all, assessment. We'll start with A. We have to look at ourselves as an organization. We have to see how on earth we got where we are. Why have we got where we are now? And could we have done things differently? Could we have acted differently? So we need to reflect uh, on ourselves. We shouldn't just look at what is happening outside ourselves. We should be autonomous. So the fact is uh, that we shouldn't necessarily accept uh, that we be totally dependent on government funding. We've got to be able uh, to put something in the system ourselves. It's important for us. Therefore, we have to be able to support the system ourselves. Authentic. The new system should guarantee the authenticity of our archives, an important component. It's always been important, but all the more so now as most uh, archives are virtual. So now let's move on to R, a rallying point. The archive system uh, should be comparable to all other services, and all services uh, should be treated uh, similar, in a similar fashion, the large, the small services. How can we uh, achieve uh, this end? Uh, the fact is uh, that there are a number of common points. We have to look at users. We've got to get the users to come and support us, to support our archives, uh, to support uh, the archive centers, and obviously to support uh, the role and uh, the work of archivists. Rigorous. Uh, the new system should be rigorous uh, in as much as it should be specific, uh, clear cut, uh, open. It should be a reference point that everybody can count on without being too rigid at the same time really bilingual. The definition of bilingualism shouldn't be that francophones are able to work in English. All should be able to speak in their language. The documents, uh, the records should be produced in the two official languages and when they're translated should be done so in a clear and understanding lang understandable language, which is obviously not always the case. C. Centered on open distribution. The fact is that this is where we stand today. We've got into the era of distribution. It's important to, to devote most of our energy to large-scale digitization in order to make uh, this distribution a possibility, a true possibility, concrete. All the systems uh, should feel interlinked. Uh, the members should feel that they're sharing the same values uh, and applying the same standards. Competitive, literally so that they can cope with competition, uh, that the system be attractive for everyone. H, okay, now H was a little bit uh, problematic for me. Hard-nosed, if you like, uh, and able uh, to confront the unknown. And the unknown for many is uh, distribution, it is digitization. Heroic. Heroic in terms of being courageous, uh, because uh, changing, reinventing oneself is never easy. But in 1985, we also needed to be heroic in order to establish new bases. And now uh, we need to... Uh, grasp at the possibilities uh, that are open to us uh, because what we need to do is uh, to try to market uh, our archives without considering this to be a sacrilege uh, but we mustn't on the other hand fall into crass commercialism inclusive uh, the system has got to be uh, to the service of all but that doesn't mean to say that it has to be uniform no we have to offer 
everyone exactly what they need. Impetuous uh, in terms of courageous, spirited, feisty, fast. Uh, therefore, the system has got to be highly adaptable, adaptable to new realities. Imaginative. Now, our means are limited. Yes, that's true. And therefore, we've got to be imaginative in order to confront all the situations that might arise. Vivacious. Uh, that is to say, we have to be able to adapt. We need to change the system when necessary. The nature, the composition of committees must change with needs. Vigorous, uh, you know, up against adversity, the system has proven that it can work, and this is uh, an all important characteristic of we are to continue. Value added, uh, that is to say, useful, but also to help services to enhance the value of their archival collection. And this is the role of the future system because it's far more difficult uh, for archival services uh, to do this individually. They need to do it together as a community. Entrenched, uh, entrenched in reality, to be able uh, to um, to feel, to anticipate needs, uh, and to devise uh, the necessary programs, which goes hand in hand with being effective, to offer what services need. Archives Canada, for example, uh, should uh, be uh, backed up uh, by the main uh, search engines. Otherwise, uh, this will simply be a rearguard action and nothing else. It should be something that you can get enthusiastic about. It should be attractive, exciting. Uh, it should attract the driving forces of the sector. And the last three, supported. It's got to be supported uh, by the public uh, bodies uh, because we're doing part of the work that they would have to do if we weren't there. And it would cost an awful lot more to the Canadian taxpayer. Supple, flexible. And the fact is that this doesn't mean to be to be weak. No, we have to be uh, determined in terms of our objectives, uh, but flexible in, in terms of the way that we implement our, our objectives and structuring. And I would end with a suggestion. It is uh, uh, self-financing. Uh, it's a rallying point. It's imaginative. It's value added. It's a source of enthusiasm, and it is a structuring action to create uh, the Arthur Doty Prize that would be handed out uh, during the Screen Awards every year. And this would be for a major public production that has best used our archival services. Thank you very much for your attention.